Um, and I used to think it was something wrong with me. Like, why do I cut people off and not feel anything? Like, I'm falling out. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going through me, Christ, puberty at the age of 33. And she, do she get, what is it? Uh, a lot of mercury in her body? No, she basically got diagnosed with GERD. And so she could, and she realized she couldn't eat a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then she had vertical real bad. I oh. learned and don't be afraid to help me grow. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid if my success take off you know and yours is a little bit short but it's coming don't be afraid of that y'all this tootie mama i done i done met tootie mama for the first time she told me you need to have your camera out you need to have your camera out so we in family dollar and it's Yeah, I'm in here. I look a mess. Hair all over my head. <laughs> Trying to take my braids out, but we ain't here. We ain't here. We ain't here. We ain't got no buggy. Fifty percent off. You gotta get it while you can. Y'all, this Tootie Mama. I done I done met Tootie Mama for the first time. She told me you need to have your camera out. You need to have your camera out. So we in Family Dollar, and it's half off. And she don't feel her whole buggy up, y'all. Listen. Oh, mama, look. She got the last, mama, look what she got. The last swiffle, look. Uh, oh, no, it was it. actually two more. Oh, was it? Somebody uh, must have put it uh -huh. somewhere. And I uh -huh. started to get two because I would have got two. She got a lot. Like, I need more. to. Right. But I didn't need both. Look. She hey, said, why your camera? Yes, <laughs> y'all. Look. Look at my mama. We looking at her book. Like 50% off everything. Everything. In store, so I got like everything. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everything but the kitchen sink. Okay. okay. <laughs> I put some of my stuff in the car. We loading up to. Yeah, this is my second trip. Oh, so you good. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a buggy like you. I was carrying it in my hand. Me and my mama taking turns. Look, okay. I would, I would take it to the car. And I will, when you go to the line, call my name. I'll hold your buggy. You come back in here. Say, Raven, when you get to the front. Raven. And I'll come and hold it. Okay, bye. Y'all look at us carrying this in here. Y'all better come to East Ridge Family Dollar. Have off. Have off everything. You need some That's tissue. I know you do. Dang, it ain't nothing left. Well, I already got a uh, fabric softener. Sharice said this laundry sanitizer right here, this Clorox stuff is good. You see it, the blue. You see it. She said it's good. It's for sanitizing the clothes. We don't need no bleach. Well, they done got all the bleach. We got, we got some more fabric softener. Or we done. Nah, I got enough fabric softener. I got enough. I don't need no more. What about another one of these? I don't use. I don't like that. Okay, I bought one. I don't like that. I told you that. <laughs> She's yeah, we can get by. <laughs> no, you fine, love. Look. Look. <laughs> I'm going to need to come right back in. You do. Know, I told you I got you. Well, we going down to the food app. Mm -hmm. We going this way. Oh, damn. Look. Yeah, I see. That's all right. So, I guess I'm going to go pick some cereal out. And I'll come back over here. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to stay right here. They got them. What's that? Oh, I don't eat pork egg rolls. I'm sorry. Yeah, my mama done download the app. It's been so much. <laughs> Oh, okay. You might can. Oh, that stuff gone. Some professional cleaning, you spray in there, you let it sit. But then I got this. I think it's like a. I don't know. Brisha baked up. Brisha! Brisha, where you at? Look, she's on the phone like, hey, y'all see Brisha baked up? Everybody in here, y'all. Everybody. So, y'all, we going to go back in there one more. Mama, what's crawling on you? Ain't nothing crawling on me. I ain't nothing crawling. Okay. okay. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. No spider, girl. Ain't no spider. Okay. <laughs> what a spider. So this is about to be the third trip. We're gonna go back in. Oh, this, all this all family dollar less than $60, y'all. 
Less than sixty dollars. Yep, mine was sixty-two. Yours was sixty. Ooh, mm -hmm. early was twenty, and then this was forty. No, nah, mine was thirty early, and this was uh twenty. So less than sixty. Fifty dollars. Yeah, for everything. So I know they said y'all that it's gonna be um a sale every monday so this monday is 50 percent off next monday will be 75 next monday yeah 75 probably wiped out. but it yeah i'm about to go get my you going back in again mom i'm not standing in line i'm gonna go get my fancy oh okay go ahead uh -huh. i am back i'm gonna do uh an unload with y'all i spent a total of 52 dollars and 36 and everything y'all yeah, know i'm a bargain person so this right here was definitely a bargain for me. So, I'm gonna start right here. I got, oh, paper plates, paper plates, y'all. This is Thanksgiving drinks that I got. I know y'all, I know y'all missing with these. The Tahiti Fruit Punch, five. But every time I drink some of this, it breaks my face out. So I just got it because it was on sale for Thanksgiving. And I'm putting out Thanksgiving items over here. For the drinks, we need to make a punch with it. Maybe with some honey or something. You know what I'm saying? Um, look, Downy fabric softener. Then Charisse put me on to this Clorox laundry sanitizer. I never used it, but why not get it? Why it's fifty percent off? Why not? Why not? Why not? And then this is Game fabric softener as well. So it's not all the fabric softener. Oh, this the other one. Then I don't know why I'm like using this downy rinse refresh. Oh, the power. I don't like it, but my mama like it. I don't like it, but hey, it's going to be added to the collection. And then I got, well, my mama got some of this, so I bet y'all like, no, you didn't get all that for 50. I think my mama bought these too, and I bought these when she bought the downy. But then we got the snuggle. Zip my bags, glad we got some of the pins for the dressing and the cheese for Thanksgiving. Okay. They'll be the macaroni and cheese put in their cabinet. Some olive oil. This olive oil, y'all know it is expensive. The robust is very expensive. I got that half off. Got them some meatballs. Some tuna fish. Some Larry seasoning salt. Some milk. I gotta I gotta have some milk for Thanksgiving. They gotta be cut up. Mama at home on five bread. They, they gotta be cut up real small. And then almond milk. Y'all, all this is 50% off, okay? Everything. I even got me some foot mags. Hmm. What's that? Heavy. Oh, um, heavy duty. Garbage bags. These were what, three dollars? So two or three dollars. I got me the old cedar re uh, what is this? The refill? What is this? Mm -hmm. The refill mop, because I needed one. Candles, glad candles. Mama gonna put this. You gonna put this in your bathroom. Upstairs, please. And then cups. For two pages. I got cups, phone cups, clear cups. Of course, this is for things in the This for my mop. For my feet, my mask. The deodorant, y'all, was a little can, but if you know, you know, this deodorant is running you almost $8. Okay, I got it for $2. Dish detergent. Oh, no, this dishwashing liquid. Beijing, if you know, you know. Beijing, jet black, dye my hair because I'm taking my braids down so I can get um, my hair color black. Okay, I just make sure it's still going. Oh, yeah, look at my ornaments that I got. Yes, they were $2. I probably put it by my fireplace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put it by my fireplace. Okay, some more candles, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, cereal. I don't eat these. My kids eat these. Fruit Loops. Mm -hmm. Got the Crunch Berries. I need the food man. Oh, y'all. Let me some. Down the paper towel. I think that's it, y'all. I got a lot of stuff. I think I did a good job. What you think, Mama? You did. I did a great job. What you think? I was everything. I was just making sure to put it in the place. Yeah. 
Mama, go get the, um, them clothes out the dryer and put the other clothes in the dryer. But yeah, I'm done, y'all. This is my haul. My family dollar, 50% off haul. I think we need this here. Mama, you got a lot of stuff too. Oh, my definitely. And then we had a great time in there with Tootie Mama, y'all. Hilarious. She, that's what Tootie get from her mama. Hilarious. Had us, had us down laughing. Make it a little smaller. Hilarious. And then I got to get ready to do my more hair. I think I'm going to do her some tweets. And then Katie's at school. I thought I gave you that. Did I? Well, this right here and putting all my things. Oh, all the uh, washing powders and stuff? I don't use this can. Well, no, that'll be for you. No, I don't. I just got it. Excuse me. Why not? Mama, put your cereals and stuff up. Put your cereals and stuff up. Okay, y'all. So, that was, that, was, that was the unhaul of the family dollar discount, the features and all. I went back in the store three times. I didn't see anything else that I need to get. I'm going to wait till next Monday. It's 75% off. And I'm going to go back and get like cough syrups, uh, vitamins, and stuff like that. Because, you know, that stuff has 50% off ain't enough. So, I'm going to wait till 75% off. If it ain't gone already. But, yeah. I'll be back. I'll be back in a minute. Smell smell. 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 So y'all, it is now time for me to do Kimura hair. I'm actually getting ready to do two screen twists and I decided to twist the front down to the scalp and do two pan screens, I'm sorry, two screen twists down in the back so she can do a versatile style if she want it up or down. But yeah, I hope she love it when I'm finished. I know she will, but this is something convenient for her. It's something that's lightweight and something that she can handle when I'm not around. So let's get straight to this hairdo.
right, y'all. I got finished with Kamora hair. I ain't even get to show y'all. I'll show y'all here shortly. And another thing, the pimples are pimping. They pimping out. Do you hear me? Pimping. Pimping out. Pimple out now. Pimpling out. Ah! Pimpling out. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going through me Christ puberty at the age of 33. I have no idea. But we about to get ready to go to my mom game. She's actually about to get ready to play against one of her. Is she a will be considered a rivalry, mama? No. <laughs> well, whatever. So I have to take my hair down today, tonight, whatever. I have a hair appointment in the morning. I go get my ends cut, a blowout, press out, all that stuff. I'm thankful that she came through. It was last minute. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's time, and then I'll go. And then I'm. I don't know if I want braids or if I want a glueless wig. I don't know, but I do know I want my braids way fuller than this and way smaller next time. If I do get them, um, on my way to McAllister's. If y'all, if y'all don't have a McAllister's in your state, and if you do have one, please go get the turkey lasagna soup so good it tastes just like lasagna it is so delicious it's hot and guess what i said turkey i didn't say beef i said turkey turkey and then tomorrow i don't know how i'm gonna make this work um i did cancel boot camp today due to kimura's game because i didn't want to rush and be there and then try to hurry up and be all the way on the other side of town to get back to boot camp so yeah so why before her game start i will be sitting in the car taking down my hair and then um i got the black beijing dye to dye my hair as well and condition it and get ready to go get it done tomorrow that mean no workout for me for the next two days yeah next two days yeah because a little bit of sweat a little bit of touch it is over with do y'all understand over with but yeah i'm on my way to McAllister's right now this her dad calling hello hello yeah well, uh, where y'all about to go is mom already Ma i'm bringing her to the game where you at oh i didn't know but, i didn't know you was bringing her well who else is gonna bring her Oh no, that's pretty. You grab my wallet? No, I left your wallet. I, I did. And what you forget too. Lighting? I forget what? What color the damn street lights is? Mm. Okay, is it anything else you want? <laughs> is anything else you want? Oh, that's it. What Kaylee doing? I'm about to go pick her up now. Mm, okay. Well, she'll be she'll be school on time, on time. All right. Bye. Hey. I should have left his wallet at the house. He wouldn't even have a have no wallet. Look how Momo. Y'all see how Momo looked up when I said I should left her daddy wallet at the house. I hope you be just like that for me. So y'all, this is the lasagna soup, and it is so good. Like when I say good, good, and they do give you um crackers and sour cream for the win. But yeah, it's so good. Hey y'all, I am back. I'm actually at Kamora School, and I decided to take down my hair, sit in the car and take down some of my hair um, because I do gotta get it done tomorrow. I'm so ready to get it done. Um, I like wearing my natural hair, but I don't like doing my natural hair, you know? But it is what it is. But I wanted to get on here and talk about, like, how do y'all feel about meeting new people? I'm not gonna say making new friends, but like, just meeting new people and you know you never know who you may be in the room with and you never you should never fix your mouth to say me personally 
I don't think you should never fix your mouth to say no new friends. That's the most stupidest I have ever heard in my life because you saying that can possibly block your blessings. You don't know who God has in store for you to help you elevate your life, to help you become farther than where you are. And I'm a firm believer in, you know, even if you had somebody that hurt you in your life, friendship or whatever, or it may be, or that the season has ended, that, that was our life experience. You know what I'm saying? It was the lesson behind it. That person got something out of it. You got something out of it. And it taught you something, you know what I'm saying? And keep it moving. But I do feel like that no new friend thing, I used to be in that mind state. Or I'm not going to necessarily say no new friends, like, but new business partners, new friends in my life that's going to help me elevate, that's smarter than me, that know more than me, that's going to help me learn things that I didn't know that I can possibly learn. And don't be afraid to help me grow. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid if my success take off you know and yours is a little bit short but it's coming don't be afraid of that because when one win i win correct and that's just how i feel like it should be um not say that i got anything in my life that's happening because i'm fine with the people around me and for the people that's coming in my life that god continues to bless me with i'm thankful for them you know what i'm saying and um and i just i just wanted to see where y'all was at about that as far as meeting new people and I, I feel like it's always great to get out and mingle you never know who you're running to you never know who know who you know what i'm saying and that's just how life works and growing your business and and all that kind of stuff that's how it works you can't you can't stay still for too long and if you are who who wants to be around you like you are still so that means you're attracting still people and I'm a, I'm just a firm believer in attracting the right type of people in your life. You know what I'm saying? And the people that come in your life that's not me for you, they'll feel you and they'll disappear on their own, you know? And <clears throat> and it'll be a blessing for you once they do. So there's some people it's hard to for people to forgive people and they don't know that it's hurting them. They don't know how bad it is destroying their energy you know what i'm saying because <laughs> well i'm aquarius so certain shit bother me and certain shit don't but majority of the time don't nothing really bother me i'm kind of like i cut you off it's like you never existed and that's for anybody family like it's like i never knew you so it's kind of like you you almost cold turkey like i never knew you you, you never existed and and I think most Aquarius that I know are like that. Um, and I used to think it was something wrong with me. Like, why do I cut people off and not feel anything? Like, it's something wrong with me. But in reality, it's not nothing wrong with me. It's just who I am. And that's a part of me releasing is just cutting ties and not thinking about you anymore. Like, how do y'all cut off people? How do y'all, do you feel like you got to have a, a closing statement? You got to have, you know, closure. Like, what is it before you cut people off? You got to cuss them out. Like, what is it? I just want to know. But that's just some of the stuff that I had on my head, y'all. I was taking down my hair before I go in here and see my daughter play. Okay. That's just some of the stuff. I can't wait to read y'all comments. I cannot wait to read your comments. Okay, yeah, I'll be back. Return home after the game. Give us all the will and the power to practice good sportsmanship this evening. We pray for the safety of our players and coaches as they compete for the tournament guard, eighth grader, number 11, Bobo Moore. <laughs> At the post, junior, number 23, Lady Lonnie Hutton. At the guard. Come on, Mo.
she do she get what is it uh, a lot of mercury in her body no she basically got diagnosed with GERD and so she could and she realized she couldn't eat a lot of stuff mm -hmm. and then she had vertical real bad oh mm -mm. i don't eat bacon do you i don't eat no pork period so you don't even do turkey bacon no i eat turkey i eat turkey meat i don't do beef i don't do ground beef no What's lamb is red meat, but that's the only red meat I eat is lamb. But I don't eat pork. I don't eat ground beef. I don't. Mm -mm. Oh y'all, I'm getting my hair cut because the braids have really did a lot to my hair. The tension on the ends is just bad, and I have tried to be committed to doing right, but my excuse is that I'm a trainer. I sweat a lot, and. I don't have time, but now I'm really gonna have to make time because my hair is very important to me and I just wanted to grow back. So Brittany, I told her, just go ahead and cut everything that need to be cut. Everything, not the dead ends, everything. Let, whatever you need to do, just do it at this point. Snip, snip, snip. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and I'm gonna make a promise to myself to do right this time. I'm gonna take a break y'all from braids for a month. I'm gonna have to buy me a wig or something, but I'm gonna take a break, a big major break. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. But when she finishes, it's gonna be pretty. When she finish, let her do her thing, y'all. This is all my hair she had to cut. My ends was what, Brittany? Oh, they were. Uh, <laughs> you want to? You want to pretty loud? Or I'm on the truth. The truth. Oh, look. They were treacherous. Oh, look. So, y'all, listen, I'm kind of upset that I have not been consistent with my hair. So, she tried to do a curl, but the curl wouldn't hold due to the damage of me just getting braids. And it was a little longer than this because she tried to save my length. But I told her at this point, I honestly don't care about the length. I really just want you to cut everything that needs to be cut. And it was so pretty. It was like a pixie curl. But baby, right when she got done and she kept making the curls as tight as possible, the curls just wouldn't hold. I just said at this point, just leave it. And it was so pretty. Just leave it flat because my cur my my hair is just damaged from the braids and me not honestly taking proper care of it as, as i needed to but i told her to cut everything on it that needs to be cut and she did so i'm gonna make a commitment to myself not to get braids for an entire month and i'm gonna invest in me a glueless wig or something like that because of my lifestyle because i work out and i train and then I sweat bad when I'm working out, so this is not gonna last after Thanksgiving. It's not gonna last. Now I am gonna go home and try to ride it and see how I look and leave it, you know, in some rides and then unride it. But I gotta get used to this, y'all. I gotta get used to this. Like I really gotta get used to this. Like my hair was completely damaged, as y'all heard her. And I just feel bad that I really let my hair go. Like I have to really show y'all some pictures of my hair. My hair used to be so thick, so long, pretty. My curls, everything. But but when I came a fitness journey, y'all, I really just didn't focus on my hair anymore. I really just was going straight the braids, straight the braids. Yes, I will. I would get my ends and stuff cut in the treatment before, you know, all that. But I wasn't consistent. So now I'm paying for it. Now I can't even put my hair in a ponytail. And yeah, but. The good thing is I'm on the road to healthier hair. I'm gonna try to stay consistent. I'm gonna try to do right. I'm gonna try to stay away from braids. And I'm gonna have to try to love my natural hair as much as, much as possible as I can until I get back to where I once was. And I know it's not gonna come overnight. I know it's gonna take time and it's gonna take a lot of patience for me. So yeah, that's where I'm at y'all. And she tried her best, like she had it curled, like curled, y'all. And it wouldn't hold its curls. It's because it has been trained to be in braids for so long. But hey, it's cut now. This right here was like going like, you know how you be having like it cur mm -mm. It wouldn't even, it wouldn't even work, baby. And then it's running outside, so it wouldn't even work. But I still got somebody. 
body yaddy 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 and i ain't even get jay black hair if y'all know me y'all know i love jay black hair and i just told her to keep it my color which is like this brown sandy brown color but i'm praying god touch my hair touch my scalp let it grow back in like that hey, 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 hey. i need some earrings i look like a little boy okay bye y'all hey y'all so i am back i'm almost finished looking at the show called family business and let me tell y'all about my hair y'all so ace was being very hard-headed he ran out the garage it was another dog next door and it was a great dane if you know how great danes are you know that they're big and he went barking at the damn dog and i'm telling him to come here being hard-headed didn't come then he gonna start snapping at the dog dog way bigger than him don't know what he was thinking about so my neighbor trying to hold his dog back my dog not unleashed i messed up for once and i'm telling him to come here he take out all, all way in the woods it was raining outside <laughs> I could have choked his ass. Do you understand me? He's in. He's on punishment. He's gonna be in the house. He's only time he can go outside is to pee and poop. And I'm not playing with him. Like I'm so upset. Like my hair, baby. Listen, I might have to press over it again, but I'm not gonna put too much heat on it. But let's talk about my hair. Let's talk about my hair. Let me make sure. Oh, no. Family business done got good. The last couple of episodes done got good. I've been in the house. I've been cleaning. But like I said, let's talk about this. Let's let me not get off track. Let's talk about my hair, okay? Let's talk about my hair. Um, I'm not happy. Like it really has been bothering me all day. Um, since I got my hair done, since I went to the shop, and I'm sleep about to cry about it. Like. I failed to manage my hair. Like, getting protective styles is fine and all. I'm about to cry, y'all. I'm trying to hold my tears back because my hair used to be so healthy. Like, my hair always been thick. I'm not going to say it was long down my back, but it had a little length on, you know what I'm saying? Not where I feel like I've been going through this phase, cutting my hair, cutting my hair, cutting my hair. And I keep telling myself I'm going to be consistent after I get done getting braids, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to breathe. I'm going to go get a treatment. A blage, blage. But I don't do it. I take it out. I let my hair breathe for a little while. And then I go right back to braids. But it's not nobody fault of mine. So now I'm paying for it. Now I'm paying for the damage. Now I'm paying for me wanting it to grow back. My edges are thinning and out, y'all. As you see, they thin right here. And they're not thin over here. So I have work to do. Like. <laughs> I got work to do. So right now, I'm actually um gonna my sister told me about this hair fertilizer stuff that I'm gonna use. That I she did give me some. I'm order some more. Um I'm gonna look into different things I can do to grow my hair and get it back stronger and healthier. I am taking a break from braids probably longer than a month. I am interested in finding me some glueless wigs so I can braid my hair straight back or you know where I can take the wig off and it can breathe at night. Or even some twist, but I want y'all to be on this hair journey with me. And if you know anything that can help me, um, if you are, I am natural. So if you know anything that can help me with my natural hair journey, getting it, you know, back healthier how it was, let me know. Um, I do know that I need to do a clay mat. I mean, a, a mask on my hair. I need to give it, let it sit. A deep treat, a deep treatment, a conditioner treatment. I got my my retainers in y'all. I need to be consistent and it got to start now. Um, I can't believe I just let my hair grow like that. Like it looked like my hair looked like a piece of paper. And I have to show y'all pictures of how my hair used to look. It's like when I became a fitness trainer, I just let my hair go. Like I just said, forget it. I guess because before I was a fitness trainer, I worked in the ER and I kept my hair either in braids or weave. So in my real hair, I got it cut, trim condition whatever it needs to be you know the normal process of keeping your hair maintained and when i became a trainer i sweat so bad in my scalp when i'm working out so i can't wear a blowout because it's gonna be freezy and i spent all this money um brace is just convenient so i just keep them i keep them i keep them i keep them 
and it's breaking my hair out because I'm not properly taking care of it. So, <laughs> new ponytail. <laughs> my feelings are hurt y'all my feelings are just my feelings is hurt like if you know me you know my hair is my everything um i, I like trying to take care of my skin like i even done feel short as far as doing my indian clay mask every sunday i haven't done it in two sundays so i'm about to get ready to do that and i just got to get in better better spirit with me on my hair journey because i feel bald-headed I feel like paper, you know, like I don't like it. And I did, I did tell her I don't want a black dye. I just don't like my hair. Like I, I got to learn to love it though, because I got to learn the process. I got to enjoy this journey in this process that I'm about to be on with maintaining my hair back and the vitamins. I take all that. So don't tell me about the vitamins because I take it, bites and all that. I take them. It's me just not taking care of my hair. And the older you get, your you know, your your body changes. It goes through a phase. It's just like losing weight. When you get older, your metabolism changes. So you got to put in double work to lose the weight. So I'm going to have to put in double work to maintain my hair and make sure I'm taking care of it. And it's going to be rough on me because of my lifestyle. But I got to put... I got to put it inside my schedule and I got to stay consistent and I'm so disappointed in myself. So if y'all have any kind of different in, uh, regimens or something that, that worked for you and like my edges thinning out on this side, anything that y'all can help, help a sister out, help me out. Okay. And I'm going to show y'all the hair fertilizer that I use and I'm going to continue to use and I'm going to... I think it's called Anamla, Anella, oh, or something like that. I seen it on TikTok. I'm gonna order that too. Um, my hair can really eat up um, grease. Well, not grease, oils. I don't want to put too much in it, but I need to find me a good deep conditioner. I use Black is Beautiful, but I need a great leave-in conditioner. Um, and if y'all have any great mask that i can put on my hair like a detox mask or a mask that i can just leave sitting on there let me know even though i'm about to do my research because i do this stuff i just ain't been doing it for me it's crazy how you can tell people to take care of themselves and their hair or whatever you're not doing it for yourself stop raving practice what you preach you know what i'm saying i'm check checking me now so y'all help us with that okay i'm about to get ready to put this indian clay mask on my face i'm gonna show y'all how i mix it and yeah, this vlog it actually is coming to an end. I'm sorry. I'm gonna show y'all how I mix my Indian clay mask and put it on. I'm pretty sure y'all know. But this vlog is coming to an end. Thank y'all so much for coming and liking, and subscribing. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on. And then I cannot wait for y'all to see me whip it up in the kitchen for Thanksgiving and family coming over and my first time in my home. And I'm super, super excited. And also, y'all, I know y'all don't see me interact with Greg a lot, but. Me and him got some things up our sleeve. Me and the hubby got some things up our sleeve, okay? But, yes, thank you for all the love. Now I knew what I was missing. But I knew once y'all start subscribing, I found love. Nah, <laughs> thank y'all. Don't forget, though, I'll see y'all on Friday. Yeah, I'll see y'all Friday. Okay, y'all. This is the Indian clay mask that I use. You can get this from Target. You can also get this from Arouse or any of your local stores that sell it. And you can order it from Amazon. But I use this pattern. And I also use the apple cider vinegar from Bread. I can mix it in real good. And before I even mix it in, I got to shake it up. I gotta shake, 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 which mom gay ya. Then I go ahead and I pour it in. If it's a little watery after I get done stirred it up, of course, you know, I gotta add a little bit more powder because you want it to be thick. You don't want it to be watered down. You want it in a pasty form. So when you keep stirring it and stirring it and you realize that it's still a little watery, then you add a little bit more powder to it. Y'all, you gotta get it in a thick, muddy base okay a thick muddy base you want it thick you don't want it watery so real thick like this 
Let's see how thick it is. Yeah, just like that. Okay. I'll zoom in. Okay, y'all. So I'm applying it on my face. Mm -hmm. It feels so good. It's it's cold, but it feel good. And I'll leave it sitting until my skin feels so tight where it's pulling and then I clean it off. So this is a good thing to help detox your skin. And yes, I put it I I put it everywhere. subscribing but watching me keep watching me because guess what your girl gonna continue to blossom and grow okay just keep watching me and those for the ones that's hating keep hating because you ain't doing me nothing more more to motivate me to keep going okay <laughs> make sure y'all grab your own roses and smell them and stop smelling others that's all i have to say y'all have a blessed day see y'all friday and get ready to help me clean this Hen, 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 a twin, twin, twin. <laughs> Peace.